In this video, I'm going to share about few of my personal experience about managing diabetic patients. Now, I had a patient who had come with a blood sugar level of 400. Now, he was dying, he, wa he had the sugar levels and then afterwards his neighbor have, had started some medicine. So, he also started the same medicine and as a, uh, after taking for two months, three months, his sugar levels are not getting in control. So, he was worried and then afterwards he had to come to me. Now, uh, first thing we should understand is all diabetes are not seen. There are different types of diabetes and the line of management for diabetes is different. There is type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes and both have different line of management. So this person he was having type 1 diabetes as a result of which the tablets which he was taking was not having any effect on him. Now let's see what was the problem happening with him. Now first thing when you have your meal, this sugar, the, the, the glucose in your meal, it, it enters into your stomach. From the stomach it gets digested and then the glucose enters into your bloodstream. Now if there is adequate amount of insulin, then this uh, glucose will get entered into the cells. But in the type 1 diabetes, there is lack of insulin because the beta cells in the pancreas, which, which are produced in the pancreas, are destroyed because of some immunogenic response in our body. So that's why there is no insulin. So there is no insulin, so the, the glucose can't move from the cells, in, from the bloodstream into the cells. As a result, the cells are deficient, the person feels tired, exhausted. Because there is increasing blood sugar levels, the, the sugar keeps on rising the kidney takes uh, uh, takes the action comes into action and it starts excreting sugar in your urine as a result patient can have when the sugar level rises the patient can have, develop urine infection because of urine infection the skin infections is also very common they can develop fungal infections delayed wound healing and as a uh, and because there is increase in the sugar levels there is decrease the appetite and the patient can have unexplained unexplained weight loss now all these things are where the patient was having these symptoms but he was not able to understand that he is he is having weight loss and the person and the person from whom he was he had taken that medicine his neighbor he is having weight gain so both the, the type of diabetes are different so we started him on insulin with insulin uh, initially he was very hesitant to start with insulin but with insulin i mean like his sugar levels are in control and now currently also he is, he is managed very well with diet insulin and exercise so this is very important to understand that all diabetes are very different so type 1 diabetes is very important to diagnose you consult your doctor immediately as soon as you know your blood sugars are high don't start the treatment by yourself and let the doctor understand what kind of problem you are having and based on this a personalized health plan needs to be personalized uh, diet plan as well as your physical schedule exercise uh, schedule needs to be planned and your insulin dose needs to be adjusted and all you should also learn how to titrate your insulin dose thanks for watching my video stay tuned for more